G'day team, Mr. Minimalism here with a couple of posterior chain activation stretches today being the uh, straight leg bridge and the leg lock bridge or the cook hip lift from the guys at functionalmovement.com. Okay, so starting off with our straight leg bridge guys, we're going to be laying on our back, palms up, knee, one, leg, one leg bent, heel placed firmly on the floor and we're going to have both quads in line. So the quads stay in line throughout the move throughout the whole movement in this one. The idea is then using the glutes and forcing through the heel of the ground and foot, we're gonna bridge up as high as we can. Okay, ensure that we don't arch our back and flare our chest to gain mobility, guys. Squeezing yourself off the floor through the glutes, driving through the heel, and pushing ourselves up as high as we go, lowering under control as well. The next upgrade to that stretch is our cook hip lift or leg lock bridge where we're going to pin a ball against the base of our rib cage here with our leg. Okay, from there, to start the stretch, we can also keep our leg pinned in, being the leg lock bridge, or if we're at an advanced level, we can leave our palms up. From there, we bridge up as high as we can without letting that ball fall out. So if the ball falls out, guys, we've lost that contact point onto the uh, chest there, and we need to maintain that at all times through our leg lock bridge or our cook hip lift. Okay guys, there you have it guys, a couple of posterior chain activation stretches utilising glute activation instead of lower back to gain the range of movement. Hope you got something out of it guys. Thanks very much and don't forget, less is more.